Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I'm so happy to meet you again in this short video. Uh, we'll talk about very important point. Uh, really, it's tricky and advanced. Uh, uh, today, we'll talk about how to assess the diaphragmatic thickening to assess your patient for suitability for weaning. Let us see about the anatomy. Uh, there is two parts of the diaphragm. The costal part, which is the flat part here, which inserted inside the lower six rib, and it's the very superficial to the skin, flat part of the diaphragm, costal part of the diaphragm, inserted in the lower six rib, will attach to the crural part, which is inserted in the lumbar spine from two to four. And this flat or costal part should contract, and if contract, will pull this crural part and will expand the lung during inspiration. And like any muscles in the body, with contraction of this costal part, it will thicken. And I will try by ultrasound machine to determine the degree of thickening to uh, measure the uh, strength of the diaphragm. Here, I will put, because uh, the costal part of the diaphragm is very superficial to the skin, I will use high frequency probe. I will put the high frequency probe here in the eighth intercostal space and fear axillary line. I will try to be vertical as much as I can, and I will put in this space what I will see. I will see first skin hyperechoic, subcutaneous tissue behind the skin, intercostal muscles, and after that, I will reach to the diaphragm. The diaphragm will compose of three parts. The superficial part is the pleural lining, this echogenic line. And the middle part here is the diaphragmatic fibers. And the uh, inner part here, or the deep part, is the peritoneal lining. And here is the liver. Above the liver is the lung. I, once I reach to this beauty pictures of the costal part of the diaphragm, I will fire the MMO mode because I need to measure the thickening of this uh, costal part of the, of the diaphragm. Okay, uh, where I will put my MMO mode, I will put 0.5 to 2 centimeter from the juncture between the liver down and the lung up, okay? And with inspiration, the diaphragm will thicken, okay? And I will try to determine this degree of thickening as a measure of the diaphragmatic strength, which is very specific and sensitive sign in ICU. Let us see. You see here, our patient is uh, breathing. First, where I will put this mood, I will put 0.5 to 2 centimeter between the liver down and the lung up. The liver is homogeneous plaque here, and the lung is, the, there is a line in the lung here. Okay? This is the lung, this is the liver, this is the junction between lung and the liver. I will put the mood here below this junction, and it will determine this degree of thickening. You see in our patient, this is the thickness during exhalation, almost on the scale here, 2 millimeter. And this is a sickness during inspiration, almost five meters. That means, just with visual assessment, uh, the sickness of, the, the, of our patient diaphragm here is almost 100%, which is great. What I am doing to do to determine the sickening fraction, I will measure the maximum diameter in inspiration minus minimum diameter in exhalation over minimum diameter multiplied by 100. If this ratio is more than 30 to 36%, it's great, good news. Our patient can be weaned. But if the ratio is less than 30%, that means it's very bad news. Your patient with very high sensitivity and specificity will fail weaning. I hope it's clear. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Bye-bye.